If you plan on displaying AdSense advertisements on multiple different websites, it's probably a good idea to use the same AdSense account to manage your units across all of your different websites. This will make managing your display units easier and will allow for more accurate and centralized administration of all of your web properties. Your other option would be to create a separate AdSense account for each of your websites, but by doing that, you'd be duplicating a lot of the configuration and management tasks that would result really in a decreased efficiency. To allow AdSense to display ads on multiple websites, you need to navigate to the Allow and Block Ads section of AdSense, which you can access from the top toolbar from the home page. Once in this section of Google AdSense, you can manage which websites are allowed to display your AdSense ads by clicking on the Manage link in the left side of your screen near the Content section. This will take you to the Site Management section of Google AdSense. In this section, we can specify other websites that we own by entering the URL of each website in the text box available in the Owned section of our screen. In this section, you need to enter each website individually and then click the Add button for each individual website. Once you click the Add button, the website will be added to the list of websites and you'll now be able to display ad units and start earning AdSense revenue from that website. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our other website, which is kineticoinc.com. And before I actually add this, I also want to mention that next to this Owned tab, you'll notice that there's another tab labeled Unclaimed. That section lists any websites that have tried to, at some point, display advertisements from your Google AdSense account. The websites listed there will properly display advertisements, but those ads won't earn any revenue for you until they've been officially added to your account. So if you see any websites listed in this section, as you can see right now, we have zero. But if you do see some over there, it's a good idea to add them to your owned list so that you can begin accruing revenue from those websites. So let's go ahead and add the kineticoinc.com website to our list. As you can see, the kineticoinc.com website has now been added to our list. And once you've specified all the websites that you'd like to display advertisements from your Google AdSense account, you can begin to configure specific ad units for each website as we discussed earlier in the course, and you'll start to accrue revenue when advertisements are shown on all of the websites in our list here.